Hi, my name's Mike Hall. I'm a senior technical product manager within the mobile and embedded devices group at Microsoft. And today we're going to be taking a look at Windows Embedded for Point of Service. Windows Embedded for Point of Service is one of the family of operating systems available from Microsoft for use in embedded systems. And this includes Windows CE, which runs on a range of embedded devices and processors, Windows XP Embedded, which is a componentized version of Windows XP Professional Service Pack 2, based on x86 processor and PC architecture hardware, and Windows Embedded for Point of Service, which again is a customized version of Windows XP Professional Service Pack 2, but specialized for the vertical space of point of sale, point of service devices. What we're going to be doing here is starting the installer for the Windows Embedded for Point of Service product. Now, one thing to bear in mind here is that Windows Embedded for Point of Service is an installed operating system image. You run an installer very much like the Windows XP Professional Service Pack 2 desktop operating system installer, which installs the specialized build of Windows Embedded for Point of Service onto your target device. Now, this is completely different to Windows XP Embedded with Service Pack 2. In that situation, you're building a customized version of the Windows XP Embedded operating system image based on your target hardware configuration as well as the operating system components and features that you're going to be adding to your operating system image. The Windows Embedded for Point of Service installation is extremely straightforward. The installer will check your underlying hardware, will copy over the baseline embedded operating system image, and then run, through you a f run you through a phase known as first boot agent, which is very similar to the boot sequence used in Windows XP Embedded for Service Pack 2, in which case this will configure things like COM objects, as well as networking, and as well as some of the underlying hardware that's being used on your embedded design. So how is Windows Embedded for Point of Service different to Windows XP Embedded? Well, Windows Embedded for Point of Service is a baseline installation of Windows XP Service Pack 2. The operating system image is approximately 400 megabytes in size and has some additional support on top of the baseline Windows XP installation. Windows XP Embedded, on the other hand, is a completely componentized version of Windows XP. You, as the developer, get to pick and choose exactly which configuration of the Windows XP Embedded operating system image you're going to choose. If you don't need certain functionality, such as web browser, media player, uh, DCOM, networking, and so on, then you don't need to include those features into your embedded operating system design. Windows XP Embedded scales from about 40 megabytes and upwards, whereas Windows Embedded for Point of Service is a fixed configuration of the Windows XP Service Pack 2 operating system. But Windows Embedded for Point of Service is much more than just Windows XP Professional Service Pack 2 and an installer to install that onto your embedded design. In the Point of Service Point of Sale marketplace, it's very rare to find devices that support plug and play. For example, if a barcode scanner goes down, typically you have to replace the entire point of service device. With Windows Embedded for Point of Service, there is a complete managed driver infrastructure that allows you to plug and play various point of service and point of sale devices without having to take down the entire system. In this situation, an embedded operating system design can be built using the standard WePos install, using standard Windows XP device drivers, as well as standard Windows desktop applications. In fact, your point of service application, your point of sale application can just be a desktop application developed perhaps using Visual Studio 2003 or 2005 or any development tool that generates desktop applications. The great thing about Windows Embedded for Point of Service is using this .NET managed driver architecture, you can develop applications that are unaware of the plug and play aspect of taking out a peripheral and plugging in a replacement. So if one barcode scanner goes down, it's very easy for you to pull that out and replace it very quickly with another barcode scanner, even if it's from another manufacturer. The .NET software development kit for Windows Embedded for Point of Service devices gives you the, the ability to work with any of the underlying Windows Embedded for Point of Service infrastructure. And this could be barcode scanners, this could be 
printers, this could be cash drawers and so on, and get event information for each one of the events that occur with these devices. As we can see from the installer, the installer is extremely simple. It copies over the embedded operating system image to your target device, perhaps also formats the hard drive, configures networking, and then reboots the operating system image into the Windows Embedded for Point of Service operating system image. So during the last couple of minutes, we've seen how the Windows Embedded for Point of Service operating system image is configured and installed and booted on a Windows Embedded for Point of Service device. In this case, we've been using Virtual PC 2004, but this could have just as easily been real hardware. For further information, we've brought a slide up on the screen that points you to information about Windows Embedded operating systems, our partner program, as well as information about support offerings for Windows Embedded uh, operating systems, and also the download location for evaluation versions of Windows CE, Windows XP Embedded, and Windows Embedded for Point of Service. Thanks very much.